Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good one. Today we are checking out another classic MMORPG called Pirates of the Caribbean Online. It was released in 2007 and closed in 2013, but I recently found out that there's a fan project trying to revive the game, so I thought it would be a good time to check it out and see what the, the game is all about. Let's create a pirate. Oh, it's a Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we got to create our character, we got uh, male, female, pretty basic, you get to pick a shape, got a bit of a belly there, not too bad, it's pretty small, that's pretty good, let's go with the bulky character, we get to do our face, I haven't slept in like weeks, let's go with that, what is he doing, holy shit, that's that's some nightmare fuel right there, let's go with the, uh, the skinny look here, there we go, we got some eyes, we can make them bigger, spacing, of course we go perfect. I mean, this is a quite a quite like good uh, character creation. Then we get to pick our mustache. Nice. Oh, and we got a baldy too with the mustache. Oh, that's perfect. We're gonna roll with that. Not heavy. You can pick your shirt. I think we're gonna go with this one. Let's go with the shorts. And then we get to pick our shoes. Oh, we're gonna be uh, barefoot, obviously. That's the only way. Choose your name. So it's like, you can pick a name, but then you can also pick your own name. So you have like these options, which is kind of cool. William Whale. I'm just gonna go with my name though. Let's pick that one. And we are finished. Oh, they give me a temporary name until it's uh, approved. We get to play with the Jack Sparrow. Leave the jail, press arrow keys or was keys to move. Right mouse button to move the mouse to move the camera. Okay, pretty basic. And we're called Sea Dog. Uh, do you want to follow Jack into the tutorial? Let's play through the tutorial. Walk towards the ray of light, enter the old warehouse, get sword. Oh, the jumping is a bit janky. Ooh, what, what is his name? I can't remember. It's been so long uh, since I watched the, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Click the sword icon to draw your weapon. What? This one has an action combat? Shit! Level up sword level 2. You get a combo bonus. So we can level up the weapon. Sweep skill unlocked. Click the chest icon to continue. Click the sweep icon. Oh, it's like an AOE skill. Press escape to put away your weapon. 25 rep. Oh, I think we have to fight this two hit combo. Die. I killed them all. That was pretty good. It's a Captain Bubek. Oh, Port Royal. Do we get to shoot with cannons too? We do. Oh, you get to aim with it too. We sunk the ghost ship. Why don't we have any pirate MMOs anymore? I wish. You know, it's a Jolly Rogers. I should watch the movies again. Maybe with this game, uh, we're gonna watch the movies again. No! Oh, he killed my friend. I'm forced to let you live. Rip the ship, I guess. Here we are in the mainland. We got a quest to defeat 300 great vigors on the Port Royal. So let's go do that. So it tells me like a general area where I can find them and then I just have to go look for them, I guess. Damn, the music on this goes hard. Hopefully that's not like a copyrighted music. I don't know. How about this guy? It's also like daily quest. Give me a fishing rod and lures. Now we can try fishing. Oh, what is this? This is cool. Come on, fishy fish. Oh, let's get catch this one. Perfect. A hatchet fish. Oh, that's pretty awesome fishing mechanic. I like that. Okay, so we're gonna find it on the map somewhere. We're gonna find some kind of cemetery here. Oh, maybe it's like here. Oh, I see a lot of red dots. Yeah, there we go. We found the undeads. Why does this game's combat go so hard? Why the hell did they close this game? I don't understand. Walk through the tree tunnel and visit Tia Dalma. Oh, my character looks so, so good. From the darkness comes the light. Oh, is he gonna give me a compass? So we can actually like... Know where we're going? Oh, Black Pearl. Would you like to learn how to use combat? Yes, tell me. The arrow points to your quest call. Ah, so now we get the minimap. Okay. Enemies are shown red. Uh, town wall of all folks are green. Other players are shown blue. So you can see everything on the combat. That's handy. Recover release order from a Navy cadet on a Port Royal. Okay, so we're gonna kill the Navy cadets now. Oh, we already got them. Oh, that was, that was very easy. What the hell? We gotta raid this place. Oh, we're leaving the Port Royal already. Okay. Can't do that. We're gonna go find Jack Sparrow and we're gonna help him get the Black Pearl. Hey, there's another player here. Look at that. A Rickard Whalebeard. Level 12. Yeah, the minimap is definitely quite useful. Now I can actually see where to go. 
kind of interesting that he had to unlock the compass for that. Oh, here's a Derpy Dry Dog. Name your ship. Ooh, we got to name our ship. That's cool. A wonderful rogue. I kind of like the rogue. So we're gonna go... No, we're not gonna go with that. We're gonna go ugly. Ugly song. Let's go with that. Use a dinghy to launch your ship. Ugly song. Light sloop. Let's go. Oh, we can't fully sail. Sail to the Devil's Anvil to visit Barbosa. Oh, we get to... We actually get to drive the ship. Whoa, this is sick. This is a better game than Skull and Bones. Are these players? I think they are. I think there's like a navy. I'm gonna drop the anchor. And we're good. Level 10. Crab. I don't think we can kill that. Probably kill the scorpions though. Oh, now we can loot. We got a new weapon from that. I think I'm like on the wrong side of the island. We need to find our way to the... Uh... So now we got a level 3 on our sword. Which means we should be able to equip the... Uh... The new weapon that's a quite an upgrade we go from six attack to uh 13 and it also has a skill not in the face this might make the enemy stop attacking you what you have skills for sailing you have skills for cannons pretty impressive uh then we get a uh, unlock shooting so let's go oh let's try this new sword Big damage. Hey, it's Barbosa. With the little monkey. Yeah, give me a gun. Let's go. What? Are we gonna shoot the monkey? No, no, no. Hold down right mouse button to move. What? You go, you have like a crosshair, you have to aim? Oh, that's wild. What code? I just shoot everything that moves. No shooting other pirates? Wow, okay. Oh, so we get to use guns against cursed pirates. Sail to Tortuga and find a Jack Sparrow. Chatting with other pirates can be helpful in teaming up. Oh, yeah, you can chat with people. Really, it tells me tutorial. Hello. You can make friends and start crew by clicking on another pirate. Gotta go to Tortuga. Heaven's Dream. That's a good name for a ship. You can have a cargo in your ship. Number of shipmates. Oh, you can, like, go around with other people, too. Uh, can we get to the island if I just hit drop anchor? Let's see. And we're gonna find a check a sparrow from this place. Is he in here? A fateful bribe. Can we find a check sparrow? Oh, he's here. Next drink. Still there? That sounds very important. Level up three. Awesome. We're gonna speak with uh, Joshua Me Gibbs. Go find the black pearl. Sink a navy ferret ship. Oh, it's only level one though. It's pretty easy. What if you just ram into it? Let's see. Oh, that didn't work. Shoot the cannons! Oh shit, I missed! Other side. We got it! Oh, that was cool. I got some holes in my ship though. Defeat four navy cadets and wildwood on Tortuga. Okay, we have to go back to Tortuga now. Keep to the code. Choose another weapon. Oh, it tells me I can't use weapons for these. Only the undeads. But I can murder them with the sword. No problem, no. Oh, we got a new belt from that. Is that any good? Well, I'm, I'm putting it on. Why not? We are level four. This is gonna be enough for me, the quest, to join the crew so we can go hunt the Black Pearl. I proved my loyalty. Uh, visit however in Faithful Bride on Tortuga. Okay, let's go check it out. Is it in here? Oh, it's here. It's Bartender. Oh, and I got a tattoo. Oh, is this like a magic shop? Do you have to get a tattoo? Lela's Bad Ink. Lela's Brother. Store. Let's see what he sells. Oh, we can get a tattoo. These are sick. What the hell? They're pretty expensive too. Damn, you can get like a full on body tattoo. Even face tattoo, that's good. Cover four pinches of bone dust from undead bandits. Let's go with the sword. Shooting level two. Maybe we need to level up the shooting a little bit so it's uh we can hit a bit better. New shooting skill point. Oh, let's check it out. Upgrade to increase damage. Oh, okay. I never expected that you would be, like, aiming in this game like this. I mean, it's not aiming, aiming, but, like, you still kind of have to. Like, you can't just... You do have to have your target, which is pretty interesting. Ooh, big damage with the skill. Hey, look, we got a green weapon. You have to level up level 7 sword to use that. That's a nice damage, though. 29. I love how you get loot that actually 
is good. The boss is dead. And we got level 5 from that. Pretty awesome. Looks like now we got all the materials so we can go back. We also have a new quest for weapon. A voodoo doll. We are back at the tattoo shop. Give this stuff back to Bonita. Great. Visit Carver, the Fateful Bride. Back to the bop we go. And now we have to recover two flags from the Navy Bulwark ship. So we have to go kill some ships. Plundering will make them real mad. Gonna destroy the ship. Come on, come on, come on. We got it. We also got a sailing level too from that. So you can grab all hook people's ship too. Very interesting. So we got a one skill point to sailing now. I think we might... Uh, we could get this skill. A ship maneuver. So I think it helps me like... I move a bit better with the ship. But it's supposed to be like a speed boost. Not sure how to use it though. Shoot the cannons! Oh shit, it's on the other side. I think I'm missing on it. Yeah, okay, we're getting it. Nice, we got some cargo from that too. We have to return to Carver now. Only 100 rep from that. Captured Captain Steadman from a sea, sea Viper ship. Okay, really? That's what we gotta do? So we also have a weapon unlock quest. I think I could do that. So to do the weapon quest, what do we need to do? Find Tia Delma on Cuba to receive training in a new weapon. Pantano River on Cuba. Where, where the hell is Cuba? We are in the Cuba now. So here we can learn the next skill. Or well, the next weapon. So we should have like a quest here. Oh, I think she has an alligator as a pet. That's nice. Maybe we can get a pet too. You should be able to get a parrot or something like. Is it really a pirate game if you can't get a parrot? Oh, so we have to go kill the ships to get all these materials for the voodoo doll. Okay, that's fair. It seems like the ship combat is going to be a pretty big uh, deal in this game, which is kind of kind of cool. So we have to find a navy bulk wards. Oh, there's one. So now we can also fast travel back to the uh, the Cuba after we're done here, which is always nice. Damn it. Oh, come on. Got him. I need to get one more. Oh, two more bulk boards. I'm gonna destroy the ship. So I think I aggroed it. Oh, they had a treasure chest. But now my ship is burning. I don't know if we, I don't know if we have like uh, tools to repair it. Come on, ship. Okay, we got that one killed. I only have one room for cargo now, so we have to like... I think we have to kill one more and then we have to go back. Get this ship repaired. There's two bulk wars here. I only want to fight one. Ah, uh, they're missing all their shots. I'm trying to kill this one. Okay, we got it. That's good. Now we're gonna run away. Run! Oh, I can just repair it here. Uh, plank sewing, hull branching, hammering. What? You have a mini game? That's funny. You win. Oh, okay. I love this. You have like a mini game to fix your ship. What? Oh my god, this is actually difficult. <laughs> Great job. Ship repaired. Looks like our ship is fairly fixed now. I gotta say, I quite like that. As a mechanic, like where you have to ac actually do something to fix your ship. That is quite fun. So we gotta find these sea wipers to kill. I think we're gonna get it. Nice. All we have to do is find one more and then we're good. We got it. Oh, we gotta run. Oh, we're getting attacked real bad here. Run. Can I use the fast travel while I'm in combat? I guess I can. That's pretty good. We're just getting out of the situation there. And our quest is done. Does it give me a weapon now? Really? You want me to grind all these? We gotta kill 10 stone grabs? I guess you have to farm all the alligators too. Hey, we got a new pistol. Is that better what I have? It is better than what I have. But we have to get level 4. One level to the gun. There we go. And we got level 4 shooting from that too. Which means we can actually uh, use the new uh, new gun we got. 
which gives me uh, unlimited ammo on the venom shot. That's really nice. Where is the crabs? Oh, they're on the devil, devil's anvil. Ooh, I just one shot these crabs. At least the low level ones. I keep missing a lot. I don't feel like the poison works. Does it do anything? I feel like this pistol has a pretty insane range. Oh, I might die here. Oh no, I had to use a heal. Level 9 crab is a bit bit too much for me. And we are a level 7. But oh, we also have to kill the giant scorpions. Okay, well that's good then. And I think this is going to be the last one. We got all the items required. Yes, we should be able to get a weapon now. Quest complete. Come on, give me my weapon already. No, we still have to kill undead. What a quest to just to get a weapon. Holy crap. Ten of these bandits, I guess. <laughs> Not in the face. It's a good name for a skill. I approve that. I don't think I can hit them all at the same time. I can use the skill though. It's like an AoE, but... Oh, wow, that's too many. I think I got him though. Whew, that was a close one. We did get a sword level 5, so we can actually equip the better sword now. I think it's a bit better. And we also got a skill point, so we can add this to the combo. Whoa, what the hell? We got a sick combo now. It's a very stabby stabby. I like it. Okay, we're gonna kill one more. There we go. Recover six dust from undead pirates. Aren't these undead pirates though? Look, we got a hat. Let's put it on. I think these are only like uh, skins, basically. They're only cosmetic. We need an eye patch. That's what we need. Yeah, we got the last pirate. And now we can go back to Tia, Tia Dalman. Can we actually buy a new ship? Let's find out. Purchase. Okay, we can. 3,500 for Galleon. I have 351. We're not quite there yet to buy a new one. I wonder if we can sell all the weapons that we have. Okay, we got some we got some value out of that. So I guess that's what we gotta save up our money for is the um is to buy a new ship. A better or bigger. Here we are, back at Tia Dolman. Looks like it's gonna give me the reward now. 500 rep for that. Nice. And we also got a new weapon, which is a voodoo doll. So I guess that's kinda like a magic thing in this game. There's like a bunch of new quests they're gonna give me. A tune voodoo doll. Touch enemy with the voodoo doll using the left mouse button. Then you can cast hexes on them from distance. Can attune up to one friend or enemies. What does that even mean? Does it mean we can like get a pet? Oh, so you just kind of like attune them and then you can cast your hexes. So you have to be really close to them and then... Okay, I see how it works. That's cool. And we are a level 8. I really like the voodoo. It's like... You're not like a basic wizard in this game. You're like... I think we can go back to doing the main quest now. So we have to recover a list from a desk in trading co office. You have to fight for it. There's a guard here. I might have to kill it. Maybe finally we get to hunt for uh, for the ship. But yeah, we gotta go outside, uh, kill the navy bulk wars again. Oh, here's like a harder repair ship for gold. What is the normal difficulty? Let's see. Does that mean we get gold for like repairing? Okay, I, I was able to block it somewhat. Whoa, that was a difficult one. What the hell? Oh, I earned 86 gold for that. Okay, so you do get gold from this. I want to try the hard. Let's, let's try the hard uh, repair for gold. Perfect streak, let's go! Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, crap. Oh, got it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, we got it. 337 gold from that, wow. That's like super easy. Pretty easy gold. Okay, yeah, we gotta kill one. We gotta kill four navy bulwarks. Oh, I feel like I do so much more damage now. Why was that one so much more tankier than the other ones? 100 rep for that. Are we actually like getting there? Eight navy guards in Thieves' Den. Okay, that sounds like some kind of dungeon. 
These are not the right ones. Gotta find the other ones. Oh wow, this is a pretty high level. I was gonna follow the arrow and see if we can actually find the uh, the right. Oh, there we go. I can see them on the map. I kind of like this uh, voodoo doll thingy. It makes you like a mage. It's very fitting uh, to the pirate theme, I think. Okay, we got a doll level up. Heal skill unlock. Oh, so you do, you're able to heal with this. But if I level this one up, I can attune two people. How does that work? So they both take damage, but it's like shared. So you have to attune your friends also, if you want to heal them, I'm pretty sure. We do have a better doll to equip. So we got this one. This one gives boost to the swarm, so let's use that. So I'm gonna slow would be kind of nice, or like a stun. Stun would be great. Okay, we got him. That was really easy. Now we can just teleport back. And we are... Another quest closer. We got level 9 from that. Which is pretty good. And now we have to sink more ships. Well, there we have it. My first impressions of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Online. I'm quite like pleasantly surprised. It actually feels really good. It, it's definitely better than I expected. I thought it was old and clunky. But I think it plays quite well. It does make me like hope that we would get a, like a pirate MMO at some point. Like a proper one. This one is really cool. But yeah, I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you want to try this game. You can go and download it and play it. It's a fan project, so... But it's supposed to be exactly like the, uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean Online was back in the day. Tell me in the comments, how did you feel about the Pirates of the Caribbean Online? Thanks for watching. Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.